In the book of 1 Samuel, in the Old Testament, the people of Israel decided that they wanted a king to rule over them. God listened to the people and told the prophet Samuel that he would set a king over the people. Samuel told them to gather together before the Lord, and he organized them all by tribes so that God could choose who would be the new king. When all the tribes came forward, God chose the tribe of Benjamin. Then Samuel had the tribe of Benjamin come forward, and God chose the Matrite family. Finally, God chose a man named Saul to be king over Israel. When the people looked for Saul, they could not find him because he was hiding. But God saw Saul hiding behind the supplies. When Saul came out, he was taller than everyone else. And Samuel said that there was no one else like Saul, and the people made Saul their king. However, Saul did not choose to honor God like a good king should. Instead, Saul cared more about himself. He did not love God with his whole heart. A few years after Saul became king, the Philistine army came to attack the Israelites. Saul was very afraid, and so was his army. The prophet Samuel told King Saul not to worry, but to trust God. He also told Saul not to do anything until Samuel arrived at the camp. But Saul looked at the Philistine army and was afraid. Instead of trusting God, Saul sacrificed all the burnt offerings that Samuel was supposed to sacrifice. Saul disobeyed and sinned against God. When Samuel arrived at the camp and saw what Saul had done, he told the king that he had not kept God's commands and that Saul had acted wickedly. Because of Saul's sin, Samuel told Saul that God would take away the kingship from his family. Saul had to choose between trusting and obeying God and disobeying God. Saul made the wrong choice. Because of this, God chose a new man to be king, a king who loved him with his whole heart and obeyed his commands.